So last week we talked about Democratic lawmaker from New York, Elliot Engel, who showed up for the very first time in his district in months, and he was caught on hot mic saying this. I mean, that pretty much tells you everything that you need to know about Elliot Engel. Now, he recently got himself in even more trouble because in a recent candidate forum, he was talking about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's decision to endorse his primary opponent, Jamal Bowman, and the rhetoric that he used maybe was just a wee bit hyperbolic. This is what I'm talking about. This is not a dictatorship. This is the democracy. We shouldn't have one person from high, even though she's a colleague of mine, think that she can anoint whoever is elected to Congress. That's not what democracy is all about. So I'm tried and true. I've been there. I've worked hard. I've done things for people. As I said to people, two-year term, I asked for a renewal of my contract for another two years. I mean, what else is there to say? Has he not already shown his true colors to every single person in that district? He is equating a political endorsement with dictatorship. Now, I think it's good that AOC endorsed Jamal Bowman. I wish that she would endorse more primary challengers. But if, according to him... An endorsement is comparable to dictatorship, which doesn't even make sense, that's part of democracy, then I'm sure that he's going to denounce the endorsement that Nancy Pelosi gave to him, correct? He was also endorsed by the Congressional Black Caucus, so I'm sure that he's going to reject their endorsement wholeheartedly, right? And while we're at it, while we're talking about democracy and really strengthening our democracy, then I'm sure that last year when the DCCC was going to war with vendors who were working with candidates who were primary and corporate Democrats, that he was on the side of the people speaking out against the DCCC. I'm sure that earlier this year, when there were widespread reports about superdelegates wanting to subvert the will of the people if Bernie Sanders did in fact end up with a plurality of delegates, you know, he erred on the side of democracy and wanted the people to make their decision and didn't want institutions and individuals influencing the democratic process. Oh wait, he said nothing about any of those instances of undemocratic behavior from the Democratic Party. So, I mean, what we're dealing with here is a whiny, entitled, elitist Democrat who thinks that that seat is owed to him. Never mind the fact that he didn't set foot in his district once during a global pandemic. But now he's angry that since he's not there, his opponent is getting endorsements of other lawmakers. Well, maybe you should be there. Maybe, rather than complaining about the fact that you have a primary opponent, you actually just Try to do better. Actually propose legislation that your constituents want. Try to actually perform. Do your job. But no, he just wants to keep that seat warm. It doesn't matter that he's not making a difference. He just wants to be there because he's been there forever. I I believe he's been there since 1988, which is basically the entirety of my life. Uh, What have you done, Elliot Engel? What have you done besides implement terrible policies, and propose terrible policies. What have you done? Nothing. So the fact that he has the nerve to whine about AOC's endorsement and equate that to a dictatorship, saying that an endorsement is not democracy or it flies in the face of democracy, whatever he's trying to imply, I mean, what an imbecile. This guy is clearly not fit to be a lawmaker. Someone that stupid who thinks that an endorsement is comparable to undermining democracy, does not deserve to be in a position of power. Support Jamal Bowman. Go to bowmanforcongress.com. Donate to him and help him defeat this ghoul because Elliot Engel doesn't actually care about the people uh, that he's supposed to represent. He's been in Congress for decades and he hasn't done anything. And now that he finally has someone who's challenging him, who's forcing him to campaign and actually set foot in his district, you see the way that he unravels and melts down. He can't handle the fact that he's actually being challenged. He can't handle the fact that democracy actually is playing out because he has a competitive primary opponent. It's absolutely uh, ridiculous. He's insufferable. 
and the people in his district need to realize that this isn't someone who cares about them. He's not even doing the bare minimum. He's just warming the seat in Congress, but doesn't actually want to fight for them, doesn't actually want to improve their lives. So, I mean, the people in this district who will be making this decision shortly, they deserve better. So support Jamal Bowman and actually get yourself a representative because you currently don't have one. You don't have one. He's not a representative. This is the absence of leadership. This is a coward who is just looking out for his own career. He's made that incredibly clear during the course of this primary. And if you vote for him, then I'm sorry, you're part of the problem. He doesn't care about you. So stop supporting Democrats like this. Beta male, not a beta male.